Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today we're going to be doing the next video in the series Full Face Of... And today is the turn of Wet and Wild. So if you are interested in seeing a full face of Wet and Wild, seeing what I think about it, how the products apply, then please keep watching. Okay, so I have so much stuff that I'm gonna try out for everybody today, all wet and wild. Really excited to try this on. I spent an absolute fortune over the weekend buying all this stuff. It's only available in the UK in Boots, which is our massive drugstore chain that is in the UK. I know it's available in the US as well and your shade ranges and your actual product range is far more vast than ours. We only have a very small selection of products. So if you're a little bit disappointed that I'm not reviewing something that you possibly have in your country, it's probably because it's not available here yet. So let's get some of these on. Okay, so I've already put my serums and my moisturizers on my face and I've given them plenty of time to sink into my skin. I'm not going to use a primer today. There wasn't a particular primer in Wet n Wild that I thought, wow, I have to try that primer. And to be quite honest, I'm not a big fan of primers anyway, as if you are a regular to my channel, you will already know. So we're gonna jump straight in to foundations. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I believe in the US you also have a cushion foundation that's more of a dewy finish. I think if that had been available in the UK, I would have gone for that one rather than this one. But I am excited to try this one. It has a lot of really good reviews and I know a lot of people rave about it. Now, like I said in the intro, although Wet n Wild is available in the UK, it's far more limited at the moment than in the US. So this comes in 20 different shades in the US, but we only have six in the UK. I've gone for the shade Soft Beige and I'm keeping all fingers crossed that this is my shade because I'm going out later, so I could really do with this looking really nice on my skin. So this is supposed to give a flawless camera ready appearance immediately. It also makes the skin look filtered without the use of a filter. They say it's very lightweight. It gives medium to full coverage. It's completely fragrance free. It's also oil free, paraben free and sulfate free. And the most important, it's cruelty free and it's also vegan. So let's get some this on we're gonna see whether this is actually the right shade for me I made the mistake yesterday of pulling the cap off and then realizing it's actually not a pull cap it's a twisty cap oops so this doesn't actually have a pump it's got a little spatula on the end here so I'm just gonna dispense a bit of this on the back of my hand I've no idea how much of this I'm gonna need looks a little bit dark for me I'm going to use the same brush that I always do, which is the 103 Define Buffing Brush from Zoeva, which is my application method of choice. But Wet n Wild do say that you can apply this with your fingers, a brush, a sponge, whatever you decide to do. So that's good. Okay, it's not too dark. Let's hope it doesn't oxidize, otherwise we're in trouble. Big trouble. Wow, actually that... That is quite impressive. It feels quite nice on the skin. It's definitely lightweight. Okay, so I do quite like this for a 5.99 foundation. It's not that bad. It has sunk into my smile lines a little bit here and made them look a little bit dry even though they're not dry they look a little bit more cracked rather than fine lines, if you understand what I mean. I do have some dry patches around here and here at the moment, and although this hasn't sank into those dry patches, it has emphasized them a little bit. As far as airbrushing my skin goes, I've had better airbrushing foundations on my skin, but none that were as cheap as $5.99, so. I'm gonna give this foundation a little bit of a break. What I will say is it hasn't covered up any of my redness. So if you suffer with any rosacea or any breakouts, like I have a little breakout here, which is perfectly noticeable, even though I've got foundation on it, and a little bit of redness here, it hasn't covered any of it over. So uh, you will definitely need a color correcting primer 
on before you apply this foundation if you've got any redness whatsoever. Okay, so I've not put any foundation underneath my eyes as usual and I've not put any concealer underneath there yet. We're gonna do that after applying a little bit of eyeshadow. The eyeshadow I'm gonna use today is the Hooked On Vinyl Palette. This is £3.99 in the UK, $2.99 in the US. You get two shimmers and two matte shades. I really like the idea of these because they actually have written on them transition shade. This is for the crease, which it's a shimmer shade, so I definitely would not put that in the crease. Um, this is for your brow bone and this is for your eyelid. We're gonna have a little play around with this palette today. Let me just get a little brush. We're gonna go straight into the transition shade, which is the yellowy orangey shade up here. And just put that all the way in the crease and just fluff that up a little bit. This is one of those shades that is very, very close to my natural skin color anyway, so let's see if we get any color payoff. Not masses at the moment. So I'm gonna go in with my finger and use this brownie shade, which is a metallic, and just pop that on the lid there is literally nothing coming off on there. This is quite disappointing. And it's going very, very patchy on my eyelid. Okay, we'll keep building it up and see. This just isn't going on great. And usually with a finger you can get much more pigment on the lid using this little method of application and it's just not really working. Okay, well we're just gonna put a little bit of the greeny black sort of color down here. This says to put it in the crease, but I'm not a big fan of putting shimmery shades in the crease. I just don't think it looks as nice as a matte shade, but we are gonna put a little bit on the outer corner just to bring it in a little bit. I'm gonna use this underneath. This is nothing, this is just not coming off. These are very, very hard to touch shadows. They're really, really pressed into the pans. And this is going on really patchily, which is such a shame. Oh. So when I'm trying to blend them both together, there's some of the metallic shade that I put on the lid that's actually is just coming off. Okay, so this is probably the worst eye makeup I've done in a really, really long time. This is so difficult to blend out. It clings in areas. It's patchy in other areas. It's really, really densely pressed in the pan and yet the quality of these shadows are just not there. It's probably taken me twice as long to do this eye look and it looks like I've done it in 30 seconds. Not happy, I'm not a happy bunny. This is definitely a pass for me. Okay, so my eye makeup took me such a long time to do that um, I'm really sorry I didn't realise that my camera had stopped filming. It had got to the end of its cycle because it took me so long. So I've already applied my concealer. I'm really sorry you didn't get to see me do that on camera. This is the Photo Focus Concealer. It's £3.99 in the UK, $3.99 in the US. Comes in 14 different shades in the US, which is great, but this only comes in four shades in the UK, which is quite difficult to find your perfect shade. I've gone for the shade Light Ivory, which is a little bit too pale for me. I could do with buying a slightly darker shade and mixing the two of them together to find my perfect shade whereas if I was in the US, probably just be able to pick one up off the shelf. So this conceals and brightens. It's got a luminous finish. It's really lightweight. It's buildable, but as you know, I don't like to build my concealers. I like it to go on as it is and apply as little concealer as possible underneath the eye area to avoid any creasing. This is also fragrance-free. It smells a little bit of paint, <laughs> so it 
it does smell of something but it doesn't have any added fragrance in this went on like an absolute dream it's really quite high coverage for a cheap concealer and i'm really quite impressed with it it's quite hydrating underneath the eyes it definitely reflects that is obviously a little bit to do with the fact that it's a little bit too pale for me especially with this particular shade of foundation but this is definitely a winner for me and not only is it a great buy, I will probably be using these again. Okay, so moving on to brows, I'm going to be using the retractable brow pencil. It's got a spoolie on the end and a retractable pencil which is in the shape of a small triangle. This is £3.99. No, it's not. It's £3 in the UK and it's $3.99 in the US. It's available in four shades in the US, but only three shades in the UK. And I have gone for the shade Ash Brown. Okay, so it's perfectly nice it's okay for three pounds really i shouldn't be grumbling but it does have quite a waxy consistency to this product and because of that it's quite cumbersome to use it's quite difficult because it coats the actual hair on the eyebrow with its waxy coating and then it's a little bit difficult to go over it a few times it's not my favorite product and I will probably never be using this again. Okay, so as I was doing my eyebrows, the concealer was lifting a little bit if I touched it. So this one definitely needs setting in place. It was also started to crease underneath my eyes. So I'm definitely gonna set that in place. Now I don't have a setting powder from Wet n Wild because it's not available in this country. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of RCMA powder and just press that on underneath where I get my creasing. Okay, I'm gonna finish off underneath the eye, going back to the Hooked On Vinyl palette, Joys. And I'm just gonna go into the darker greeny black shade. That was really difficult to blend. And just put that in the outer edge. Just let that sit for a, a little minute. Then I'm gonna take a different brush and go into the shade that we've got all over the eyelid, which is the browner shade. And just go over the top of the green and smoke that along the bottom of the lash line. And you wouldn't know I'd done that because this has no pigmentation and it's far too hard to get onto the brush. Okay, that will have to do. I'm gonna move on to one of their brand new products. This is Liquid Catsuit Eyeshadow. It's £4.99 in the UK, $4.99 in the US. Again, there's lots more shade range in the US than there is in the UK. Eight shades in the US, four shades in the UK, and this one is called cashmere love cashmere love and i'm just gonna pop a little bit on this corner just to give it a little bit of a glow i'm gonna add that to the top as well just not showing up like i want it to it's a very watery product this which is a little disappointing and it's also a little bit messy but it looks very pretty when you get it on so i'm not quite sure what i think about the liquid catsuit i've got a feeling this is going to be far nicer if you apply it all the way over the lid but i didn't do that today because like i said i'm going out in a little while and it needs to look nice and at the moment I'm already very disappointed about my eye makeup. I don't want to ruin it any further by applying this. That's actually quite a watery consistency. I've got a feeling that when this sets down, it will set, but the watery consistency makes it a little bit wishy-washy and a little bit patchy, which is such a shame because it's a really beautiful product. 
I just wish it was better quality. So let's get some mascara on and finish the eye look at last. This is the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus and it's the waterproof version. I'm not quite sure why I picked up the waterproof version. Maybe there was only waterproof to choose, but usually I don't go for a waterproof mascara. Little bit of a mistake. So I'm not curling my lashes today. I actually got rid of my eyelash curler because got a little split in it and broke a couple of my lashes mm. so it's in the bin it's been banished and i need to buy another one okay so that is four coats of this particular mascara i don't have time to put four coats of mascara on on a daily basis and it still looks awful awful some of my lashes have got mascara on and some of them are bare because this is just not gripping to my lashes. I'm not quite sure why. I just can't get them to grip. I'm gonna apply a little bit to the bottom lashes just to say that we've tried. Okay, so let's just get some color and more dimension into my face using the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. This is £5.49 in the UK, it's $4.99 usually in the US, but at the moment it's on sale for $3.49 in the US if you have a look on the Wet n Wild website. Uh, this is quite a yellowy contour shade. Not ever seen one this shade before, but... Okay. Mm. It's okay. It's not orange at least, but it's not the shade that I would usually use for contour. We'll run with it. I think I'm just in a bit of a mood now because nothing really has worked out really well today. Again, look here. It's just not covering. I don't know what's wrong with this. It's just patchy. There is a little bit of my face this will not cling to. So close to giving up, it's untrue. I mean, look at that. There is a little bit of my hairline that will not blend in. It's just not clinging to it at all. Hmm. I think that's as good as it's going to get. I'm not even going to bother trying this highlighting shade because, well, quite frankly, I don't. Moving along, let's move on to blush. This is the Colour Icon Blush in Pearlescent Pink. It is £3.99 in the UK, $2.99 in the US. Comes in seven shades in the US, only three in the UK. This, like I said earlier on, is pearlescent pink. I don't usually go for an iridescent or a shimmery blush. Usually I go for a matte blush, but I'm quite happy to give it a try. It's quite a peachy pinky shade, this one. Oh, it's quite pigmented as well. That's quite a decent amount of pigment. Nice shade too. <laughs> I like this one. Okay. This has lifted my spirits a little bit. I do, I like that. I will use that again. Moving on to highlighter, we're gonna use the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This is in loads of shades in the US. It is £4.99 in the UK, $4.99 in the US, comes in nine different shades in the US and only two in the UK, which is a little bit mm -mm. But anyway, this looks like a really nice shade. I think the other one was like a silver and I thought, mm, no, not for me. But this one I can definitely live with. This is like a goldy, cool toned shimmer, so. Let's use a fan brush to begin with because we don't know how shimmery this is actually going to be. 
and just pop that on the tops of the cheekbones. Okay. This is my sort of highlight because it's a highlight that's not too in your face. So let's see what it applies like with a finger on the other side. Yeah, it's still not massively in your face. So if you like a highlight that you can see from the moon, this is definitely not going to be for you. But I really, really like that. I think it's brought this look all together and given me a little bit more of a shimmer, which is what I like. I will be using this again. I like this. Okay, moving on to lipstick. We're going to be using the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick. This comes in 20 different shades in the US, but only 8 in the UK. And this is in the shade Nudist Peach, which I think is really quite cute. Nudist Peach. I really like that. This is £4.99 in the UK. $4.99 in the US but if you're watching this video at the end of January at the moment this is on sale on the Wet n Wild website for $3.99 so let's try it out and see if it's actually any good okay so straight away for a liquid lipstick this doesn't have very much pigment in it and it's quite a watery texture so I think my favorite word that I've used in this video has been patchy. This is going on quite patchily. This is going to be a two coat product. You're not gonna be able to get away with just one coat. Okay, so that's three coats of the Liquid Cat Suit and it's still quite patchy. This is a product that is supposed to look really smooth. You might not be able to pick that up on camera. Let me just move a little bit closer and show you how patchy this actually is. So I'm not quite sure you can see that here, but um, you can actually see my lip in some places. And this is three coats. I mean, I would never apply three coats. You can also see how heavy the foundation's looking on me and how cakey it's gone a little bit in my chin area and sank into my smile lines. I hardly applied any foundation whatsoever, so I am quite surprised that it looks as heavy as it actually does. Okay, so this is the finished look for today, and I've got to say I am utterly deflated. I have been asked so many times to review Wet n Wild on my channel over the past year or so, so as soon as it became available in the UK, I got quite excited and thought, yes, I'm going to do a full face of that on my channel because so many people rave about Wet n Wild. Well, I am not one of those people. There are a couple of products that I've used today that I will use again and I found them really nice to use. The Colour Icon Blush Palette was really, really nice and also the Highlighting Powder, the Mega Glow in Precious Petals. I will definitely be using those two again. Also, the concealer was really nice, really hydrating, luminous, feels really nice on the skin, feels quite moisturizing, and it hasn't creased. I had to set this in place, but it definitely hasn't creased. The rest of it though, I think the Photo Focus, which has surprised me the most because I thought I would really like this, looks really heavy on my skin and I applied hardly any of this product so i am quite surprised that i don't like this more it's a perfectly okay product but i've had far nicer ones on my skin that have similar price point namely cyo this is nowhere near the quality of cyo also the other stuff so the eyebrow pencil was really waxy and because of that it was a little bit more cumbersome to use i won't be using this again the liquid lip really patchy really weak watery consistency so this is three coats and with liquid lips i only ever put one coat on i never have to put a second coat on but with this one it's compulsory it's so so weak in pigmentation and it's really really patchy that if you don't want the patchiness you have to really pile this product on so i won't be using that one again either the wet and wild liquid catsuit 
liquid eyeshadow. I like this product. I'm going to give this another go, but it's really watery and quite patchy in consistency. But I've got a feeling if you build this up, it will be really, really pretty as an all over color on the lid. And I didn't do that today, but I am going to try this one out again. So this is one that's going in my maybe pile. The Max Volume Mascara, which gave no volume whatsoever. In fact, didn't even coat some of my lashes. It would not stick absolutely terrible product. Will not be using this again. This will be going straight in the naughty bin. The contouring palette, again, really, really patchy. There is a part of my forehead that didn't even coat and I haven't been using different creams on my face today. I've used exactly the same serums and creams that I would use on every other video that I film on YouTube. So it's got nothing to do with what I've got underneath this product. It's just a bad product. I will never use this again. And the final one, and the one that really upset me the most, are uh, the eyeshadow palette. This is Hooked on Vinyl. I had really high hopes for this, and it's a really cheap consistency, really waxy, pressed in the pan, super, super hard, very difficult to get any out of the pan at all, not very pigmented, really difficult to blend, and again, very, very patchy. So that's a no for me as well. I hate these sorts of reviews where I'm super negative about things, but again, a lot of people say, well, you're not being negative, you're just being truthful. I'm sure a lot of these items will work on other people and I'm sure Wet n Wild have much nicer products available. It's just unfortunately, we can't get those particular products in the UK. So if you love Wet n Wild, only my opinion, people only my opinion. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget I'm also on Instagram as well. If you want to follow me on there, I do little makeup videos that don't appear on YouTube. So definitely do follow me on there. It's at Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, there is a watermark in this corner. If you click on it, it will take you through to my homepage where you can subscribe. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye.